Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm beginning my week six preview and analysis. This video is for the Thursday night game between the Chicago Bears and the New York Giants. This game will take place at Soldier Field in Chicago. Bears come in with a record of 3-2, and two, Giants with a record of 0-5. And, and, you know, the Giants' 0-5 record really becoming a storyline league-wide um, as they've yet to get a win. You thought maybe with Nick Foles entering the game in the second half when the Eagles were losing last week, okay, this is where the Giants are going to get on the board. Uh, with a win, and three Eli Manning interceptions later in the fourth quarter, and the Giants lose that game, and the Eagles really win it going away. And the problem for the Giants has been uh, pretty much everything. Uh, I mean, the only bright spot I see from this team is they still have elite receivers in Cruz and Knicks. But when you take into account how bad the offensive line is, they've turned the ball over 20 times this year, 12 of those Eli Manning interceptions. Uh, when they seem like they get something going, they shoot themselves in the foot, whether it's with an interception, whether it was the Dexter McCluster uh, punt return against the Chiefs late in the third quarter that broke their back in that game, whether it was David Wilson's fumbling issues from earlier in the season. This is just a team uh, that, you know, when you really start to dissect it, doesn't have a load of talent, uh, except for, I think, at the quarterback position and the receiver position. I mean, tell me another position on the field where they have an above-average player. And I think that's catching up to the Giants. They expected to get more from that defensive line. They're not putting pressure on the quarterback. And they're re you're really beginning to see the warts in that secondary, which is banged up. Okay, I think Roll is the only real solid player you have left back there. Everyone else is either unhealthy or not that good, quite frankly. And we'll see if Jay Cutler can exploit that. You know, the Bears are at home coming off two straight losses uh, to the Lions and, of course, to the Saints, respectively. And, you know, Chicago did not force a turnover last week versus the Saints at home. It was the first game all year they didn't force a turnover. You know, whereas New York turns the ball over a lot, Chicago forces a lot of turnovers. 14 turnovers forced in their five games. So, you know, I have a team that turns it over the most in football against an opportunistic team uh, at home uh, with a solid offense, I think. You know, the Chicago receivers will be able to exploit that giant secondary. I like Matt Forte and Martellus Bennett's matchup on the on the safeties and the linebackers of the Giants uh, in terms of passing the football as well. You know, barring a total Jay Cutler meltdown, I really like Chicago in this game. And, you know, with the Giants is I could develop a scenario real quick where they could score 24, 27 points. Um, but are they able to stop anyone? And when do those Eli Manning turnovers happen, and does it kill the Giants? And from the track record that the Giants have this year and Chicago has with forcing turnovers on a short turnaround on the road for the Giants, you know, I don't look for this to be the opportune time for them to get their first win against a Bears team that, let's face it, is reeling right now and needs this win, uh, you know, to certainly, uh, you know, fortify themselves in that NFC North, which looks like it's going to be a very competitive division. I like the Bears, minus 9.5 at home against the Giants. I know it's a lot of points, but I like the Bears' opportunistic nature and their special teams to come up big in this game. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview every game every week. I recap every game every week, and I'm always talking the news of the day in the NFL. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. And have a great night.